Good. You made it back. When you're ready, we have to get debriefed in the command room. <laughs> you're so stressed. Welcome back. Tell us everything you know. Pilot! Ah, good to see you're safe and sound. So, the GOOs this whole time were being piloted by drone bots. Drone bots? Piloting grinders? Looks like it. I can't believe this. Well, it explains why they seem to be in endless supply. I wonder if someone has gotten their hands on an old drone bot army. Huh. I wonder. All right, Frank, you're dismissed. Pilot, could you please speak with me in private when we're done here? Why in private? What's going on? I have a favor to ask. I have only been with Horizon Miners for five years. Chef, Shaheen, and Hans all have been with the company since the acquisition. I would like you to interview them to learn more about Horizon's history. Exactly what about Horizon would you like to discover? Fifteen years ago, Horizon was purchased by an investment company, Exo Yield Enterprises. There is very little paperwork available on how Horizon functioned before they were acquired, but we have some employees on board who may have some idea. Do you think this has to do with the drone bot acts, Nedbury? Perhaps. I would go with you myself, but I have a report I need to file to corporate. All right, we will go speak with the crew. Well, first I want to talk to Diesel, obviously. Welcome back. Hey. Oh, y'all here. Hello there, pilot. I hear you've been busy. Hello, Diesel. Yes, we have been busy. We discovered that the enemy forces we have been fighting are drone bots. Oh my, drone bots, piloting grinders. That sounds so cool. <laughs> I mean, darn those nasty drone bots for repeatedly attacking you. That's no, not nice. Not nice at all. Horizon used to have a lot of drone bots, a lot. I was made from parts of some of them. Sometimes I think I can hear their thoughts. Huh? Uh. They broke a lot of rules, didn't follow any union regulation whatsoever. Extremely not good, but they were designed that way. Why were they designed that way, Diesel? Don't know, your guess is as good as mine. Also by who? Hans, tell us everything you know about the Horizon and Exoil merger immediately. <laughs> oh, well, uh, I mean, I was hired right around the time that Horizon was purchased by Exoil. Continue. It was 15 years ago, but I still remember it clearly. From the get go, you knew you were going into a rat's nest. I mean, this company was run like a hoarder's house. I was hired as a mechanical engineer to take inventory of equipment and make a note of repairs. Boy, I had my work cut out for me. Poorly serviced machinery, grinders all over the place, and drone bots. Drone bots everywhere. What do you mean? The previous company used a lot of drone bots, but it was as if they had no one to service them. They were in such disrepair. Interesting. Thank you, Hans. It's like <laughs> we're playing bad cop and good cop. Unusual seeing you without Frank, Jess. <laughs> what? Am I not allowed to spend time without him? I don't know why everyone on board acts like we're married or something. I assume nothing. After all, only the pilot and I have reached that level of interpersonal commitment. Shh. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> this game grows on me. Let's see what Chef has to say. Wait, you're still here? Why, hello, Chef. Have you spawned any of your alluring Vanguard culinary creations today? Well. Okay, enough small side <gasps> talk. I am here for gossip. <laughs> oh. Who says I have gossip? Never has informed me that you are an old timer. 
You were hired to Horizon 15 years ago, around the time of the corporate acquisition. She believes that you may have information that could help us with the mystery grinder attacks. Interesting. Well, I suppose it couldn't hurt to share what I know. I was hired when the investment firm ExoYield purchased Horizon. I have worked on previous ExoYield projects before and was assigned to work as Horizon's very first chef. They didn't have a single chef before me. <laughs> Could you imagine? I suppose that's because they didn't have many employees. There were only two human employees on Topaz when I was first stationed there. There were only two miners stationed on Topaz. Two employees. I suppose that they were transitioning their workers out after the acquisition, but it was an odd sight to see. Anyway, that's all I have to say. I'm not sure who could we ask more. I mean, Shahim, obviously, but that's all. We got some information about those two grinders. Shahim, Nedberg has instructed us to obtain historical gossip from you. <laughs> yeah, I could hear it from over here. What do you want to know? You must tell us everything about the state of Horizon when you joined the company. Well, it was a long time ago. I was contracted by Horizon before the merger, mostly to conduct transport. And? Nothing too unusual. We would transport in equipment and load at the base and transport out product, usually six months stints. I believe another contractor was handling the crew transport at that time, although I never crossed paths with them. So, did they operate within legal guidelines? Well, Horizon had a contract to mine most of the Sarah system, but they never dealt with official paperwork. Everything was off the books. It paid well, so we didn't ask questions. Interesting. Thank you, Shaheen. Thank you, You're very welcome. So now you wanna join? <laughs> we have received the sordid gossip, Nebru. Sorted? Well, let's hear it then. Right. According to the crew, Horizon before the Exoil acquisition had a suspicious number of drone bots in operation, who were apparently not operating to Union Co. Horizon did not conduct any business with official paperwork. We also learned that there were very few human employees working on Topaz for a period of time, and no chefs. <laughs> Aha. I believe we've proven your suspicions correct, Nebaru. What suspicions have been proven? After Horizon was purchased by ExoYield, ExoYield discovered undisclosed information in Horizon's records. Apparently, Horizon had been using drone bots to mine in the Ceres system 15 whole years after the Wera Act was implemented. These drone bot mining sites were outright abandoned after the company was acquired. Do you believe that these drone bots are related to the ones attacking us? Well, where else could they come from? I managed to obtain records of the original Horizon bases. Apparently, the largest and most active base was on Palladium. Palladium? I never knew we had a base on Palladium. I believe someone has taken over this base on Palladium and has used the abandoned drone bots at the base to attack Horizon mines in the Ceres system. That makes sense. And if they have access to a carrier, then they can easily transport grinders from planet to planet. But if this is all true... I have no idea what we should do next. Flying right out to Palladium does seem a bit foolhardy, doesn't it? Captain? Nebaru? Have we received commands from Horizon about our next move? Not yet. Why, do you have a suggestion, Hans? Yeah, I do. Now that we know our enemies are drone bots, we can equip ourselves to fight against them. With Bellium. All right. Bellium. Interesting. Continue, Hans. The other day, Diesel got his hands on a bit of orange bellium that I had in me things, and it knocked him out cold. 
If Diesel has this weakness towards Orange Bellium, this means other drone bots will too. Now, I could engineer a weapon that uses Orange Bells. We could launch a real counterattack against these drone bots instead of just defending ourselves. And where do we get these Orange Bells? Oh, aren't they quite rare? In the Ceres system, the only place they can be found is on Osmium. If we want the good stuff, we go there. Well, that solves it then. We're heading for Osmium. Then, once we get our handy weapons, we will go straight to the source of the drone bots. Palladium. Captain, we need to get permission from corporate first. I'll get my shots out. Hans, good plan. We'll be sticking to it. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, well, at least we have a solid plan. According to my data, we are overdue for another S9 request from Diesel. Did Frenchy go to the command room? Let's go find him. Wait, did you have a hat before? Pilot, hello, hello. Diesel, did you need us to get you something? I'm very surprised. How did you know? You ask us for something whenever we speak. It's a basic algorithm at this point. Well, if you don't mind, I would love it if you could find me something. Of course. Please bring me cash. <laughs> Excuse me. You know cash? Currency. In the physical form, cold, hard. I'll see what I can do, Diesel. I don't think I've seen. <laughs> We're poor. Ah, Frenchy. So I take it you've heard our recent discovery. About the G-Wars? Yes, I have. Well, I know that tone of voice. You have a bone to pick with me, don't you? You know me too well. Why are you harboring a drone bot on board, Shaheen? It's unlike you. I thought you were more supportive of the Union than this. So you met Diesel? Diesel is the name. Look, I don't know why you have a drone bot on board, but it's, uh, unsettling. Diesel's unsettling? Did you ask him about his list of fears? It's very long. Shaheen, you are missing the point. You used to strictly enforce the Weta Act on board your ships, and I respected that. And now you have a drone bot on board. That could be a human worker in its place. An engineer's apprentice who needs to build skills and feed their family. I'm disappointed if I'm to be honest. <laughs> You've always seen things in black and white, Frenchie. And you've never taken those who disagree with you seriously. Diesel's partners on board, he sent to replace a human worker. But if you don't believe me, you can see for yourself. And if I'm not satisfied that Diesel doesn't break the Wera Act? <laughs> well, you can always turn me over to the authorities. Don't call my bluff, Shaheen. Oh, I would never do that, old friend. In before Diesel turns into the killing machine on the ship. Would you like to rest now? I mean, I want to see the action between those two. <laughs> Uh, there won't be any, okay. Sleep, sleep. <laughs> <laughs> 